Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at uh, Qualify and self-hosted alternative to Netlify or other platforms. This platform can help you host your own project. You can deploy static websites or other Node.js applications, also PHP applications easily. You can also deploy databases. You have the options to deploy various applications like plausible or other applications through Docker Compose. So in this video, we're gonna see exactly what uh, Qualify it's doing and how it can help you. So this is Qualify website. And in here we can see that uh, this is installed in about 5,000 VMs already. And in here you have the install command. In uh, my website, you can also see that I've written an article where you can see some details about uh, about Qualify and the mini recommendations that we can see in here are two CPUs, two gigabyte of memory, and three, 30 gigabyte of storage. This is uh, yeah because usually when you build things with Node, you need more than one CPU to not have a bottleneck. As for the application, you can host a lot of applications in here, you have static sites or workshops, you have Gatsby, PHP, you have Python, doc, only Docker application, you can host databases with this, we're gonna see this. You have services that you can host like WordPress and, and the other, like Aptai Kumayan 8N, either other things. And yeah, this is working on AMD and it, RMR architecture in Debian options. So let's go and uh, install this. We're gonna use uh, for the installation a Heisler VPS to do that. And uh, this can be installed in any VPS you, you want. So let's go and uh, create the Heisler VPS first. So I mean, has the interface in here. I will let the link into the description with Heisler review and a cooperation between Heisler Dissolution and uh, Vulture. So you can see. So I will choose the Ashburn area. I will add the Ubuntu for this to be to be installed. I will choose the basic shape for this test with two CPUs and two gigabyte of RAM. Let me choose my SSH key to access this thing and let's put a name for this. For this, I will put an Ubuntu Qualify. name and uh, create, I'll create this. You will have a link into the description with 20 euros for free that you can use for Hasnar. Right now we have the Ubuntu Qualify created. So we should go and uh, copy this. And let me open the terminal for this. Let me log in. Okay, so right now I'm logged into the server. The next thing that we should do is to have this application installed and I've here the command that we should run. It's a simple command and the, it will install everything for us. But basically it should install mostly Docker because there we'll have this. So let me open this. I'll hit enter. And Right now this will be installed. Right now it will ask us to install the Docker for us. Let me put yes. And Docker it's installing right now. Can be seen in here. This shouldn't take a lot of time to install everything. It should be quite fast. And at the end we can access the interface with the 3000 port. And we can secure it and see exactly what uh, it has. And at the end, we're going to deploy the static website with Astro. Yeah, so right now it's pulling the image or the Docker. Because this thing is running in, in Docker, the reverse proxy. See the Docker version, it is. 23 at this point, the last one. So, All right now we have this installed. The other thing that we 
they could do is to go and access it in the first thing. So this is the interface of this. And the first thing that we need to do is to go and register because we don't have an account right now. You can put any email address in here. I put my address. This is registering. So let me save this. This is the interface that they have. So in here you have the dashboard, you have the servers. Here is the logo. In here you can create resources, application service database, and then GitHub sources, and input Docker destinations. In here you have the tabs with the applications. Right now we don't have anything in here set up. And in this area you have like an IAM and the settings. And in the settings side, you have the options to configure a subdomain and a domain for this. So you can access it over uh, HTTPS. So the first thing that we need to do is to add the IP address for the domain or subdomain. In my case, I'm going to use subdomain to access this. I have here in Cloudflare uh, domain and I have the one that DNS and uh, I will create a record. This should be an A record. It will not be proxied. I'll just name it Qualify. And in here I'll put my IP address without TP or anything like that. And then I will hit save. So right now the Qualify subdomain it's pointing to the IP address where I installed the application. And the next thing that we should do is to go in here and add the admin. Qualify not with those. You can use a subdomain or you can use a full domain for this. You have the option in SSR for for www and non www website. And uh, in my case, it's okay like this. I will just hit uh, save. And right now the certificate should be generated for 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 this. And in the, if we're gonna go and access this, sorry, let's see. Okay, I am prompting. I have the certificate. Let me put my email address with the password. I will authenticate. I have, yeah, right now I have the options to access this securely. So in here, we're going to check some of these things. So for instance, the first thing that we're going to gonna do is to deploy a static website with the GitHub, like you see in other hosting providers, or CICD, by Netify or Oracle. So let's add a JIT source. You can choose from GitHub or GitLab. I will choose the GitHub and in here we save and redirect to GitHub to authenticate there. In here I will be prompted to put my username and password for this thing to be linked. This is the application name. I will let it like this. Here's the second installation. Okay, and right now we have the options to install repositories if you want. Okay, I will grant access to the repositories just to be able to choose from, from them. So right now you have you have configured GitHub into this and can go and uh, deploy an application with this. I'll go to applications. Let's uh, Choose a GitHub in here. You have the options to deploy this from public repositories. You can also do, do that very easily. You just put a public URI in here and you hit load repository and it will, it will deploy it. But yeah, I will choose GitHub right now. See how it's working. So these are my repository. I have some repositories in here. This is the publicbidder.com, for instance, and this is the website. Then we go and choose the website for this test. 
here I'm the branch and I will hit save for this and in here it it is uh, checking to see what application you have and seeing automatically that you have Astro installed in that repository but you have also other options in here that you can choose from to do the deployment so let's click on Astro and in here you have the configuration setting you have the name this is the binal.com website this is a source this is the commit let's commit is by default the main this is the destination build back in here in here you have the options to put it in a domain or subdomain I will put it in a subdomain again for this for the test because the main domain is already pointing to somewhere and again you can uh, do a theory call in here you can proxy this thing I'll put a bit of that test hold it let me pull the email the IP address of the server this is his okay let me say so I created Windows a test for this and let me put can you run in here Because.com if you have the option to read this for www and non www websites, in this case, we don't need that because it's a subdomain. We have the options enabled in the protocol, and in here you have the options. You see that the build image will be no LT as you can choose the from this. I will add this default one deployment image. You have uh, Nginx. Can install this over Apache. So I will let Nginx Alpine for this. The port, but it is not the case in here. Install command in the npm install to install everything. npm run build to, to start up. To build the Astro, start. Start. The disk is the destination for the public directory of Astro. So other options that we have here we have the persistent volumes, but in another case here we have the build to enable the, the debug logs to, to see the details. So right now we should uh, we should have everything set up in, in here and let me hit the save. Okay. And right now the configuration is saved on all of these details okay and the next thing that we need to do is to go and hit this button deploy because this thing is stopped right now we just saved everything and we're gonna hit deploy and then right now you see that uh, this is uh, running and it's deploying uh, the images it's fetching the repository it's installing everything right now you have all the logs in, in here and usually this takes about uh, 100 seconds the first time okay right now it's building astro See here. Okay, so it's building the pages and the articles that I have on this website. Oh, this is a live website that I am showing to you. That is hosting on, on Cloudflare pages, but yeah, right now this uh, should work directly with this MPS with the help of Qualify. Okay, 
creating the images. Okay, it's going and it finished. You see here that this thing finishes about 100 seconds. So deploy when it's done. Here we have the applications logs for, for this, if you want to check. And let's go and check this URL. So it was Windows a test. Okay, so right now you see that uh, this uh, is my website and it's having everything. Now you see that it's an article for this that it's hosted under the subdomain with the certificate. So it uh, it successfully created the website without any problems. Another setting that uh, you you have in here, you see. For instance, by default, this is enable, enable automatically deploy once. If you commit something into the repository, it will be automatically pulled by, uh, by Qualified, so we don't need to do anything. It's working exactly like Netify, it's working. Here we have the monitoring site, and see like uh, how much memory this Docker container it's, it's using. Okay, and the settings, and if we're gonna check for instance, let's go and open the terminal. For this, we're gonna see if we run Docker PS. You see in here that you have the Docker images that is running, mostly are for the Qualify. This is the traffic web server used by Qualify. And this should be the static website that we've created right now. This should be the container for this. So yeah, this is the way you deploy the application. Other things that you can deploy in here. So let's see. In this server part, you have what is happening on the server side, so like the memory that it's used. You have total memory memory, CPU, CPU usage and things like that, we have like an overview with this. And uh, if we go right now to the dashboard, you see the that we have the application that we just deployed. Okay, you have the GitHub source that we've added. The other thing we can deploy application services, for instance, in services you have the options to choose from three existing services. They have also some community templates that can help you. Basically, it's our Docker Compose. You can install, for instance, Plausible Analytics with just one click. You can install Actan Kuma, you can install Onami, and uh, yeah, things like that. For instance, you just Plausible Analytics. I have tutorials for all of this. You have here the options, the name, the version and the destination to put a new URL in here. In here, I have the details for the plausible and things, things like that. So, yeah, like this, you can deploy, for instance, plausible easily if you want. Other things that this it's having it's um, the databases. In the database, you can deploy a database easily. You have the options to deploy MongoDB, MySQL, MariaDB, Postgres, Redis, CouchDB, HDB. For instance, if we want to deploy a Postgres database, you go here, which is the version, then which is the latest version. And here you put the name, like uh, Postgres test. We have the version tag that we already chosen. Okay, here you have the host. You cannot edit this, the connection string for this, option set it public, but we need to save this to be able to modify some of the things. So 
Now, now I've saved this and you have the options to start it in here. Okay, so right now this thing is started. You see the memory usage, CPU usage, network usage in this. In here you have the options to make it public. You see, right now you can access it publicly. You have the correction strings. What this means is being like uh, if you don't have the public uh, settings, only the containers can access the database. So, um, uh, yeah, the other applications can access it through this port. And if you make it public, you can go over the internet and access it. This is less secure. And you have the options to stop it from here. Here, I have the configuration that is it. this thing. If you go to the dashboard in here, you have like the Postgres database in here. So yeah, these are the the things that Qualify can help you do. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. In case you liked what you have seen, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.